Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 63. How to day trade any market the $1,000 a day challenge. In today's session, we may go a little longer than normal because I've got some extra things I'd like to share with you and show you on the charts. Now, as we get underway, we do have to pull up the disclaimer. Let's get that out the way. There is a risk in trading, and of course, as you're watching recording, please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer. Now today is uh, in some ways relevant to me referring to trading like a casino and that is really the solution to successful trading because we don't see the casino changing their rules because on one of their tables they have a number of losing hands or they've got some punters there that are well in front. In fact, they just stick with their rules, they manage their risk. Now, there are table limits, so they don't exceed that limit in case someone has a, uh, a really good run. So that's really important to when it comes to, to day trading because we need a house edge. So what exactly is an edge? An edge is that there's a higher probability of one thing happening over another, a greater probability, say, over 20 trades. What we need to do as traders is to stop focusing on that one individual trade. You could take a perfect trade, it, meant all, it met all of your rules, but it still fails. So that's why we think and trade in lots of 20. And providing you're follow, following your money management rules, there's no problems with that. Now, our trading edge is further improved by only trading rules-based strategies applying naturally discipline, patience, money management, and thinking and trading in probabilities. And that's gonna be really uh, really relevant to a couple of things I'm gonna be sharing with you. Now, quick advertisement, uh, I am releasing, and it's coming out, I know I just need to find the time to finish it. Just a live webinar, on, uh, which you can watch, actually, it's not live, it's a recorded webinar, where you can actually watch me uh, execute trades live. Now, if you request my ebook, um, uh, which is down below, click on the link, you'll automatically get the invitation anyway um, you can get my compound calculator and a few other goodies there make sure you subscribe to my channel too so you've kept up to date with all of my videos better still just a very quick advertisement become a member for $197 uh, this is a gold mine when you look at the resources all of my indicators are free uh, there's uh, over 200 hours of online instruction there's over 35 uh, comprehensive powerpoints there's look folder after folder of information there and it's all right if you're a brand new trader no you don't have to watch it all Remember, as I say to traders, and that's relevant to what I'm going to be showing you today, focus on two setups, what I call the 34B and the 2B, and you grow from there. And on top of that, um, I also include as a bonus uh, one month of coaching sessions. That is, you can attend my live coaching if you uh, I run two sessions a week, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. They are recorded, so if you can't attend those sessions, and after the first month, you can uh, then subscribe, go to my website, or drop me an email to then continue. We've got a couple of hundred traders there, traders, that uh, some of them have been in my sessions for over six years that trade full time, just to keep their skill set up. So all of that for 197. Okay, let's move on. So in today's session, we're going to be looking at seven trades I took for five wins, one break even and one loss in 45 minutes of trading uh, as most of you are aware I use what I call a scalp and run technique that is I want to get in and get out with most of my trades I use a fixed uh, stop and a fixed target however if I've got say a pivot in front of me or uh, an open high low and close or the low of day or high of day I might go for either a smaller target or I might go for a larger target expecting a bounce. So overall, it was a good day, but I also made a mistake, which I'll explain when we get there. Now, today, 
we're going to be uh, and actually with all of my let me just uh, get my head around this sorry yeah uh, as I always say my videos are not scripted okay uh, so the seven trades I took today all of them were trend following I didn't take any CT trades and um, this just brings me back to what Linda Rashke says who's uh, uh, if you're new to trading very famous trader lovely lady to boot very very successful and up here let me say what she says let me and let me quote her let me say the majority of the professional S&P day traders I know tend to specialize in just one pattern or trade one style this is definitely a market where over trading can be a temptation many traders quickly come to acknowledge that despite being familiar with winning strategies systems and money management techniques trading success is dependent on your psychological state of mind intellect has nothing to do with your ability of a trader success is not a function of how smart you are or how you've applied yourself academically this is hard to accept in a society that puts a premium on intellect now the shame of this trade is, is that there will already be traders who will stop watching this video as they always do where they're all looking for the quick fix the fast buck which yes you might make a lot of money quickly but you're going to lose it just as quick you hear me say regularly get rich slowly but it's so critical traders that you master your mindset now in the session today we're going to be looking at it's over 45 minutes and you'll see there's a big gap between some of the trades I can't remember now what I was doing but I left the office here for a couple of minutes come back in uh, overall um, I would have had it all wrapped up in about 10 minutes but you'll see it was very successful 1770 my target is actually uh, on five contracts a thousand a day so we'll go through these trades uh, in detail on the charts in a moment and I'll explain here uh, an error I made which actually the error kept me out of a loss but one thing before we get there and this gets back to getting rich slowly now let's just say you've only got um, uh, three and a half thousand dollars now I'll show you in a moment if you've only got three hundred and fifty dollars how you can also do the exact same thing but starting off with three and a half thousand I say to traders allow up to four but let's just say three and a half targeting two hundred dollars a day in 11 weeks your account balance is now up to forty four thousand and based upon trading 12 contracts a day you've now got the potential of earning ten thousand dollars a week now this is important you only start trading a second contract every time you double your money that's why it takes so long I can show you some ridiculous compounding tables where you can you know if if you just started trading when you're up a thousand you compounded that there are some ridiculous things out there on the internet you want to um, earn your stripes when it comes to trading and this is the thing that most traders don't want to hear so here we start off with one contract when we've got another three and a half thousand in our account we now start trading two another three and a half thousand we now start trading three you're earning the stripes and you're using the market's money this is truly uh, along with the right coaching the right, the right trading strategies how you master the art of day trading now what if you don't have three and a half thousand or even if you do and you want to start slowly well start off with three hundred and fifty dollars you then target just twenty dollars a day you see the micro contracts are ten percent of the big contracts so you've got micro contracts on the main market such as the ES the NQ you've got it on oil uh, you've got it on the Russell on the Dow so you can actually start off with really literally only a few hundred well let me say 350 to 400 dollars when I say a few hundred that's not really quite enough but around 400 dollars is perfect to start on the micro so the approach you take here and even if you've got that so as I mentioned three or four thousand start on the micro okay in 11 weeks you're now up to four thousand dollars then you can start trading the big contract okay so if you start on the micro you can make all the mistakes you're going to make on the small contract then maybe put some of your own money in or use the markets money 
this is really the practical way but unfortunately most traders which they don't want to hear they don't want to hear about discipline and patience um, and what actually happens traders if you've got financial stress in your personal life you tend to bring your personal uh, challenges to your trading if you're under stress you're going to if you're not trading what I call uh, fearful money or fearless money sorry <laughs> fearless money you tend to approach trading with fear uh, you hesitate which stops you getting into the good trades etc etc now starting off with a micro 11 weeks we're now ready to roll over what the bottom line means is if you started with just 350 in 22 weeks your account size is now 44,000 and you're on or earning your potential $10,000 a week now the question is where will you be in 22 weeks time and that's starting off with only 350 and $20 a day that is the reality of trading do this start on the simulator and I should say before I say do this you start on the simulator master the trades then you start with the micro as I said you've got the option after being on the micros of jumping up to the big contract now before we get to the charts a couple of things I want to remind you of there's some key things we need to remember is so we need to know where are our pivot levels open high low and closed levels our major EMA such as the 89 and 200 I'm going to be showing you a little thing there giving you a little secret here of why this is so important the intraday swing highs and lows the current days high and low that is we've got a high of the day and a low of the trading session and you've got intraday swings in between and round numbers particularly round numbers are important when I'm looking at oil if you like to trade the Texas T so in today's session we're going to be looking at uh, how I had seven wins uh, sorry seven trades five wins break even one break even and one loss so let's get to the charts now let me pull this up first of all I want to give you um, and, and teach you something here which is absolutely critical I don't want to say it'll guarantee your success but it's going to put you well on the road to success and here why we use anchor charts why are they so important remember we spoke about the casino having the house edge one of the things that gives me my edge over other traders is I know how important anchor charts or higher time frames are now this is called an entry chart now in this case this is only a four tick Renko now depending on the time of day you're going to adjust your time frames and it's I've got a simple formula that I use that I teach you how to um, set those up but let me show you something just here so let me go to the I'm going to scroll from the right hand side now first of all I've got a 200 EMA and this is called a 200 EMA overshoot and in fact just here I've even got some what we call divergence now normally speaking I say to new traders do not trade divergence do not it's one of the fastest ways for new traders to lose their capital they're constantly looking for tops and bottoms yes you may you see it if you look at my videos I've been doing it a long time 28 years I'm very good at divergence trading however it's generally a lower probability um, uh, expectation so here we've got an overshoot normally speaking most traders if they you know they might take this as a divergence trade but many would say I'm in a sideways market but let me show you the anchor chart so let me pull that down from a window up above now as I think I mentioned I've got a formula that I use for anchor charts so I like to have an entry chart which is what I trade off and I scalp on and and usually are looking at um, and then I've got my anchor chart now you don't have this is a MACD BB so it's not something I have always have on the chart by the way but the important part is up here see that just there here here and here the trades are about to look at on my entry chart these are all major EMA bounces on the higher time frame now just here this is where we had that overshoot on the entry chart so where we were looking at I'll just drag that out the way this here on a higher time frame it's 
screaming, take me, take me, <laughs> trade me, short me just here because I'm bouncing on a higher time frame. Now, at that time, I was not quite trading, but I wanted to show you that because it was pulling back now, and now I'm willing to take the trade here. I've got a lower low and a lower high and that was the second line on that anchor chart and this is trade one of the trading session so down here also see this um, uh, magenta line uh, sorry cyan yes cyan line uh, this is the low of the trading session that's a beautiful thing about most trading platforms now they will automatically plot my pivots uh, for an example here that's a prior day's close uh, that's a pivot just there so they'll automatically plot all of these levels and once you know how to trade them they're worth a fortune to you and it makes trading so much easier and that's really why you'll find I'm generally trading less than an hour a day however when I say that I want to clarify something with you I'll spend an hour preparing for the day I'll look at the charts just check the news um, I've got a couple of powerpoints of of chart patterns that I'm looking for I'll just quickly flick through those okay just to really get my mind ready for trading remember traders will um, winning traders are willing to do the things that losing traders won't do so anyway let's get started here so here was my first uh, entry just here now for members watching this uh, video this is also a t20-1 so here I was after a fixed target and here's <laughs> here's the first error of the day okay now I'd actually rebuilt I'd had an issue with the chart so I'd rebuilt it and on my uh, dome I only had it set up to trade one car one contract so I shorted here with only one contract where I should have been short here five contracts and this is something um, uh, I, I when members join me and in my coaching classes I give them a cheat sheet on what they should be reviewing at the start of every day the markets they're trading the number of contracts the stop losses and as you're about to see I made a couple of blunders on this day uh, and, and at this time of day by the way I'm getting ready this is central standard time um, and this is um, about 5 p.m. my time in my part of all and uh, so I'm always in a hurry traders turn off your phone close the blinds focus on your trading so here in this case beautiful winning trade but I was only short one contract price then pulled back and I then had another setup and I'd still only had one contract on the matrix now I knew that by the way but this set up fairly quickly and so in this case <laughs> um, I had as you'll see I had the trading gods on uh, um, on my side in two trades today which I'll show you and explain so here I shorted again uh, targeting by the way the low of day okay so this is what my target was and this is what I call a PM trade or a pivot magnet trade even though the low of the day is not an official pivot magnet if they behave very very much like pivot magnet trades uh, then fluffed around then I got stopped out of that trade okay so one winner one loss basically evened themselves out but then I had another setup a beautiful 2b now uh, if, now with this 2b that was also identified by one of the lines I showed you on the anchor chart the anchor chart was also so was that one was bouncing off the EMAs on higher time frames these are what I call loaded trades these are some of the things that give me the edge over the market okay just like most traders know I trade divergence there was a beautiful little divergence trade and it was a major bounce on a higher time frame all right so then I was in late on uh, that trade I got in down here by the way I ended up getting uh, fully set up but I was in late now I then had um, uh, trade number four 
now this trade is called a pivot magnet trade now I was also at the low of day and I had the pivot down below this is called the floor pivot or the central pivot now pivots work so well because professional traders we trade them we buy and sell into them and they become very much like a very much a self-fulfilling prophecy they really do now with this pivot magnet trade most of my members know I will usually take profits at the pivot okay I usually like to take profits now in this particular case uh, I got I, I hit there by the time I moved because it was moving quite quickly by the time I got out I was out at exactly break even so it was a, a t28 so for members watching this pivot magnet magnet t28 trade uh, it was break even now it's very important traders after every trade we go back at the end of a trading day and review our trading this one I couldn't fault it was a loss it was just one of those things this one here though um, uh, what can I learn from that so with this particular trade and why is that doing ah here it is that'll fix that uh, so with this particular one I had a strong downtrend and um, look I had no real divergence and the reason I bring it up where I got out there as you can see it then um, uh, catted on its um, continued on its merry way so with this particular pivot magnet trade perhaps I should have um, just um, left my stop loss in place uh, and let it sail through instead I went down and tried to uh, well I did get out of break even just tried to pick up a few ticks now they, they can be great little scalps by the way so you can do really well scalping these sorts of trades so usually in sort of usually I've got it right but in this particular case it punched straight through you can see the tail so we had a bit of support there but eventually I went uh, straight through now uh, that was all over in what's that less than um, uh, that was 12 minutes then there was would have been some beautiful trades on the way through and I just can't remember I wasn't trading here uh, in that section but then I had a nice setup here now I'm back in the office I can't remember what I was on whether it was on the phone I just don't remember but anyway price rallied up there we are here I have a pivot magnet trade okay so we had a PM trade which I wasn't on but I then took this momentum trade I had a higher high in price then I then broke below the 200 now with this particular trade it was a higher risk trade and the reason being I had no pullback beforehand so usually I like to see price come down pull back then I'll jump in now in this particular case had a it was a the market was moving nicely nice strong trend long-term stochastics were down anchor chart was on my side thank you very much and down I came uh, for a nice winner now this is where the trading gods were on my side so just down here I had the um, the low of day so I mentioned I treat these like pivot magnet trades now in this particular case I entered just here and normally I'd have my stop one tick sometimes a little more above the entry if it's not um, what I call a super scalper entry but in this particular case even if I had my stop two ticks above normally I would have been stopped out here so this is trade number six it was what I call a pivot magnet trade but in this particular case uh, I'd left uh, I had uh, on one of my matrix I had the eight tick Renko we're here I'm on a four tick Renko this time of day but I've got a number of ATM set up and um, uh, what number of DOM set up so I clicked on and used the eight tick instead of the four which meant I had a much larger stop loss in place and I'm glad I did because it actually kept me in the trade now if I had have been stopped out of that I would have re-entered here on just a classic 34b and a pivot magnet trade I would have re-entered there anyway but in this particular case the trading gods were on my side um, uh, but once again it's important we, we 
we apply what I call black box thinking what can I learn from this trade what will I do differently next time and so once again most traders don't want to do that or won't do that this is a business anyway on to the next one so that was trade number six still worked out um, mighty fine but a little bit of luck on my side price is then about to pull back now for the divergence traders look at this sweet divergence trade just here okay so if I go and do this just there to there okay we had a beautiful beautiful divergence off the low of day some of your best divergence trades will come off your pivots your low high of day or your open high low and close they become what we call um, loaded trades so uh, I wasn't on that trade but coming up uh, then we had just a classic uh, 34b just there now uh, it also then for members watching this it also then turned into a bet the farm and a t10 so you can see the t10 there and it turned into a bet the farm uh, and just just on that point traders bet the farm is a bit of a tongue-in-cheek um, uh, setup we've got it kicks butt but you never bet the farm on any trade or we don't we never break our risk of more than uh, two percent but if say you're only trading with one percent that is as you build your account size you lower your risk you can then if you've got to bet the farm or another golden setup whilst you're still in a trade you can add to that position but anyway so that there was a, a beautiful um, a 3b just there uh, what was I going to say then ah that's right and so I went for a larger target why did I go for a larger target just here well I had the low of day so where you'll see me in, and just about the only times you'll see me increase my target is uh, when I'm selling or buying into a pivot for lower high of day the open high lower close or major EMAs okay so here I increase my target but I front run the low of day by two ticks and what I mean by front run is I I could see there by the uh, magenta line you can see that coming over here so I set my target two ticks above that now here you can see uh, we punched through that and it punched up a little bit then it continued on its way down however with um, pivot magnet trades you'll sometimes find that you get a big bounce off those levels okay so I like to front run I love to get the cash register to ring now in the end after all of that it was seven trades it was all over what was that 45 47 minutes uh, not a bad uh, earn on five lots for that time now what about after that well what you can see here traders is just um, uh, just an array of beautiful setups um, after that as well and we see this each and every day so traders this is not rocket science it's about taking the time to learn how to trade now what I find interesting and I am going to put this in and yes you can take it as a plug for my course or whatever but I see traders all the time you know they'll go and spend go and put two three four thousand dollars in their trading account yet they won't spend a couple of hundred dollars getting what I've got I just find it fascinating I really do and they'll go and spend sometimes thousands on indicators traders um, for some of you who've seen some of my uh, research videos uh, I've probably got one of the largest traders libraries in the world and I've got hundreds of trading indicators I've been doing this for 28 years I used to have a trading software business where um, I used to manufacture stock trading software and I had a traders library that's one of the reasons I accumulated so many books I'd rent or not rent them out lend them to members but I've been doing this for years and years if there's a better strategy I'll look at it and can I reverse engineer it uh, traders what you're going to learn are some of the world's best strategies I'm not going to say they're the best of the best because do you know what 
there's a lot of great trading strategies there really is but it's the traders themselves that let it down let them down and as I said traders let me save you years literally years of time and money and frustration come and join me as a member uh, one month of live coaching there's a massive uh, traders library that goes with it when I say that PowerPoints everything you need now after the first month hopefully then you say right this is so great I want to then continue with this which I've got 200 members there and by the way over 10,000 people have now bought my courses do they all make money and I do have to say this absolutely not and um, uh, I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching and by the way you won't be approached about my coaching it's okay but um, and I and it just comes down time and time again to the commitment that a trader is um, willing to make it's nearly always a lack of discipline in patience impulse trading this is the you know, the key reasons why traders fail let me teach you some of the world's best strategies and hopefully in my coaching sessions where we spend a lot of time on the psychology of trading that I can also help you get your head around and the right um, the, your, your headspace your mindset in the right place for a successful day trading tr career so this was session 50 oh, sorry 63 traders see you in the uh, uh, my trading rooms and um, of course um, uh, in my next video thanks traders